Number three, in a relationship. What's up, bro? Yeah, you two join. Yeah, yeah. You join? Yeah, you can pull up. You can pull up. Yo. Say what's up. You already yo, know. Yo. Nas, P, Nazo, for me, Nas, S A T, G C. You know what I'm saying? All day. What's up guys, what's going on? It's your boy Kels. Welcome back to the channel. Yo, I'm so happy to be here with you guys today. I'm back on my vlogging tip. And as you can see, we're here in Times Square today, guys. Today's a little bit different. We're gonna actually do a challenge. So I've been challenged by a good friend of mine. Uh, her name is Allison Sharp. She has an amazing channel. It's called Travel Snacks. So pretty much the challenge is a 40 question challenge. You answer all 40 questions. And you have to challenge six other people once you accept the challenge. So challenge accepted. And I want to get into actually six other people that I want to challenge as well. So the first person is going to be Move With Jen. She's an amazing person, has a great channel. It's really catered towards yoga and working out. She tries so many new things. She's incorporating music into her stuff now. She's really inspiring. I want you guys to check her channel out. Jen, your challenge. And the second person is going to be is actually a group. It's two people. Yo, these guys are two hardcore mofos. Their names are Adrian and Nico. Yo, they bring so much intensity to their workouts. And everything that they do is designed for you to get some mental toughness. Their slogan is, champions do one more. So I love that. So you already know your challenge too. So the third person is going to be my friend Mel. She's a vlogger here at NYC. Always has amazing content. Goes to really cool places has some real good insight and I think you guys should check her out for sure so Mel your challenge too and so the fourth person is gonna be burpee yoga uncle yo this dude is a monster he does burpees every day he was in the 200 day challenge yo he's so humble he has a lot of people that appreciate him and his genuineness and I'm one of those so Unc, you already know your challenge okay number five Benita Washington she has a channel called ladies talk She's so cool, she's so humble, she's so energetic. Uh, I love her energy. I wanna get to know more about her, and you guys probably wanna know more too. So, Lenita, your challenge as well. Okay, and the last person I'm gonna go with, Coach Cedric Zebaze. Yo, my dude is a young phenom out here. He's helping people change their lives in terms of fitness. I want you guys to check out his channel. Yo, Coach said, you already know, bro. It's New York City, guys, so it's always a lot of... It's New York City, guys, so there's always a lot of construction going on. We're trying to get through this video. This is great. We're here in New York City, guys. As you know, there's always construction going on. So we're trying to get through this video. Number one, do you like blue cheese? Nah, not my cup of tea. I do like other kind of blue cheese, though. Big face hundreds. Number two, Coke or Pepsi? Uh, you know what? I don't drink soda as much as I used to, but if I had to choose, I'm rocking with Pepsi all day. Number three, in a relationship, What's up, bro? Yeah, you two join. Yeah, yeah. You already know. You can join? Yeah, you can pull up. You can pull up. Yo. Say what's up. You already yo, know. Yo. Yeah. Nas, you already know. Represent. Nas, New York in the building. Yeah, yeah, yo, where you from? I'm from the Bronx. Where you from? I'm from Mount Vernon. Mount Vernon? Okay. Yeah, up top. Yeah, All day. Represent. Yeah, yeah. Yo, tell my people shout out to the channel. Make yo. sure they subscribe. Yo, Kelsey Coast. You already know. Let me, Nazo, for me, Nas, N A T, G Z. You know what I'm saying? All day. Yo, I appreciate you, my bro. Stay up, you heard? They always show love. Number three, in a relationship, uh, I'm single. I'm single. I'm out here. I'm saying, flying solo for now. Number four, whiskey, tequila, or vodka? Ooh. I had too many bad experiences with vodka. Uh, whiskey is like an acquired taste. I enjoy it, but tequila is my go-to. Like, I'm definitely a tequila guy. You know, but I did find out one thing. I'm allergic to tequila because every time I drink it, I break out in handcuffs. You'll get that one later. Number five, hot dog or cheeseburger? Ooh, cheeseburger, baby. Definitely cheeseburger, baby. Number six, favorite food. Man, I don't want to be stereotypical, but my favorite food is definitely chicken. Now it has to be like rotisserie or baked. It can't be like not like season number seven. What do you drink in the AM? First thing I drink in the morning, it's gotta be agua. I need my water. Uh, I'm not really a coffee person. I drink tea when I'm feeling like I'm in the mood. I don't really drink coffee, so water's my first go-to thing when I drink in the morning. Number eight, can you do 100 push-ups? What? Light work, 100 push-ups every day. Number nine, favorite season. I'm a summer baby. I was born at the end of July on the 25th. 
Uh, but you know what I love fall? Fall is like my favorite season. Everybody's kicking it. As you can see, people are like out here, like, you know, kicking it with a like, little hoodie on. My man got shorts right there. Number 10, favorite hobby. I'm a sports head. I love sports. I've always played football. I love basketball. I played it back in the day. I played everything from baseball, ran track, everything. So I even work at Madison School Garden for the Knicks and the Rangers. So I'm a sports head. Talk to me about anything sports and we can make it work. I had to switch the angle for you guys a little bit so you can you know, see a little bit, see a little something, son. Okay, number 11, tattoos. Do you have any? I do have some tattoos, about five or six. Uh, I'm not really gonna get like naked here in the middle of Times Square, but most of my tattoos are like here on my chest. I have one here, I got one here. I got a couple on my shoulders and on my, on my, my joint right here, on my ribs. Uh, I just recently got it in Thailand, which is lit. Number 12, do you wear glasses? Nah. Your boy got that 2020 vision, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe it's in like 2015 to be exact. I don't know. Number 13, phobias. Yo, I am terrified of two things, and I'll put it to you like this. I don't be telling my business, but there's two things I'm terrified of. The first thing is sharks. I don't do sharks. I can swim. I mean, who does like sharks though? But if you're out in the water and be swimming, you know, we got a model here in New York. If you see sun, say sun. So if you see that fin like that, holla at your boy because I'm out the water. Okay, and the second thing I'm terrified of, as equally, is snakes. I don't care if it's a rattler snake. I don't care if it's a gardener snake. I don't care if it's a fake snake. I don't do snakes. 14, nicknames. I do have a nickname. Uh, my people call me Killer. I got that from football um, only because I was killing it in football. And my boy Sam Bala gave me that nickname actually back in the day. Um, back in like middle school, high school, that's a long time ago. But my people call me Kels, call me Kelso. My real name is Kelsey. So you guys call me whatever you want. Just don't call me ugly. Number 15, favorite candy. Yo, you guys have no idea. So give you a quick little backstory. So I went to a private boarding school in Hershey, Pennsylvania. The school was called Milton Hershey School. The guy who created the school, it was for like orphans back in the day, but then it was about inner city kids who didn't have opportunities. So basically he created a school um, and it flourished. So he was the individual who created Hershey's chocolate. So every time you buy a Hershey's bar, you contribute to people like me, you know, our futures, our educations, our college funds, all that kind of stuff. So that's a cool thing. So anything Hershey's, to the heart. Number 16, do you believe in ghosts? What? Yo, I've been watching a lot of paranormal stuff. Yo, lately, now that I'm older, I can't be watching scary movies by myself no more. Before, all night, yeah, I throw it on by myself, mm, I can take it, no problem. But now, yo, I don't want no paranormal around me after 12 o'clock at night, especially if I'm by myself. Uh, number 17, biggest downfall. Wow, biggest downfall, man. It's Wow, this question's getting deep here now. So I can't say that I've had a biggest downfall. I would say one of the things is, you know, that kind of, you know, got to my core is not making it to the, to the league, not making it to the NFL. I always wanted to go to the league and play football. Number 18, rain or snow? I gotta rock with snow. I'm from the Northeast, you feel what I'm saying? So we don't mind snow. Just when it gets excessive, it's too much. Number 19, piercings. Yup, your boy got one piercing. Had it since I was a baby, still got it. That's the only one. Number 20, age. What? Your boy, the big three five, same age as LeBron James, you already know, the GOAT all day, you know? See this guy right here? Yo, what is he wearing? Oh my God, what is he wearing? Yo, look at this dude behind me in the orange shirt. What is he doing? What is he doing? <laughs> Yo, New York City is a crazy place, I'll tell you that. He lit, look, he dancing too, he's lit. All of my shot. You know what, I'm gonna go with this shot for the next one because he just lit. He just lit, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get him in the joint. All right, try to stay focused on me guys, but you can still watch him too. All right, okay. Next one is number 21, french fries or onion rings? Definitely gotta go with french fries. Onion rings, number 22, kids. Don't have any kids, but I do look to have kids in the future and I can't wait to be a father. Number 23, favorite color. If I had to pick a favorite color, it's definitely gonna be black. Uh, it's my go-to. But like a real color color, I would say red. Number 24, can you sing? <clears throat> la, 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 la. You already know, I ain't even warmed up yet, but you see I hit that note. I'm not Brian McKnight, but I can definitely, you know, set the mood. Number 25, can you whistle? Number 26, where were you born? 
Because if it wasn't for the Bronx. So I was born in Lincoln Hospital on 149 uh, in Grand Concourse. Number 27, do you have siblings? Actually, yeah, I have siblings. I have two brothers and two sisters, and I am the second oldest of the bunch. Number 28, can you cook? What? Yo, I be chefing them all day. Your boys in the kitchen, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Number 29, can you swim? I could definitely swim. Number 30, are you religious? Hmm. Um, I would say I'm more of a spiritual person. I'm more of like a, uh, I believe in higher spirits. I believe in good energy. You know, um, I do believe in karma. So I'm more of a spiritual person. That's my flow. Number 31, shower or bath? Definitely shower. Number 32, big city or out in nature? I let your boy be out here. I've always been a city person. I uh, love nature. You know, you gotta have that balance. But if I had to choose, definitely a bigger city. Number 33, are you a good friend? I'm a great friend. Yo, I, I've, I've always felt like I've been like the glue for a lot of my friends. Um, I think that's important to have the right kind of people around you moving forward. And sometimes your friends are more close than your family. Um, and that's just how it is. So it's important to be a good friend and have good friends around you for sure, 100%. Number 34, broken bones. I've never broken any bones, luckily. Number 35, how many TVs do you own? So I have one in the living room, and then I have one in my room. I don't usually watch one in my room, but yeah, yeah, so two. 36, worst pain ever. Man, this question's getting mad deep. Not being able to know my grandmother, right? So a lot of people's grandmothers were like their foundation of who they are, where they're from. Um, she's of Puerto Rican descent. And I feel like because I never really knew my grandmother, she died when my mom was 11 from cervical cancer. Um, so I never really knew like a, a, a strong foundation of who I am. Like a kind of kind of part of me is missing in that sense. So, you know, I guess worst pain ever not knowing my own grandmother. Number 37, do you like to dance? What? I'm lit, I get that. Hey. Number 38, do you like camping? I like camping. I haven't been in a long time, uh, but I would, I would definitely go camping. Like, I'd do a cabin, or even if we had to pitch a tent. Number 39, are you weird? I am definitely weird. Hell yes, I'm weird. Like, I think a lot of us are weird, and I think we have to like embrace that, embrace more of who we are, so we're not trying to be more of someone else. So yeah, I definitely think I'm weird, and I think you're weird too. Okay, last question. Number 40, did you like this challenge? Hell yeah, I like this challenge. It's cool for more people to get to know more about me. As we continue to grow our channels, I think it's important to you know, focus on the growth in yourself as well. You know, uh, things change over time. People change over time. I'm so happy for you coming with me today. I'm so happy for you being here. So if you're up for it, you know, I tagged a couple people at the beginning. But go ahead and drop your own video. Tag a couple people that you want to know more about. So until next time, guys, you already know, it's your boy Kels, let me out.